So this lesson is about dealing with inexactitude, an existing con condition of drawing. So I started looking at the SketchUp model. Uh, very uh, More often than not, you get um, you're issued some documentation of existing condition either in the form of a CAD drawing or PDF or other uh, document that you want to use as a template. And um, not all the geometry um, is perfectly uh, consistent or reconciled. Um, Let me switch to a layer to draw on. I'm going to draw on the, I'm going to take Dim's layer here to illustrate. Um, In the plan drawing that we're looking at, I'm looking at an array of four windows, which I'm going to measure, that are next to this set of dub double doors. So I'm going to start at what ostensibly is the beginning of the opening, then the end of the opening, and I'm measuring uh, 12 feet. So it appears that there are four windows windows and um, it's reasonable to assume that the, we're looking at a four up uh, set of three foot each windows. I'm going to uh, repeat that dimension across the set of double doors here. So this is telling me that that opening is six foot four inches, and that presumably are two uh, three foot door leads that are flanked on either side by uh, what what is drawn as a two inch uh, frame. Now this drawing has a section cut through it, and that section drawing is represented in this drawing below that's aligned um, with the plan drawing above it. So one would think that if I drew a line from where that set of windows begins, Let's switch to also here, type F8, uh, downward. So I'm, I'm drawing a set of guides that are simply transferring the information that I'm in the plan drawing to the elevation drawing. So if I, the problem is when I look at the line and, the, and what's drawn in elevation, there, there's a slight inconsistency. And that is that it doesn't line up perfectly where the window frame begins in elevation as it did in plan. And if I were to measure that distance, it's 5 sixteenths, oops, on that side. 
And on this side, it's not. On that side, it is nine thirty seconds. Now, naturally, we're not dealing with this with this level of precision. Um, I'm just going to put down those two dimensions there. So. Uh, and when I look closely at where, whether this intersects with the door frame, what I expect to see in elevation in this section drawing, because the section is cut this way, looking toward the back of the model, I expect that the door frame begins, and then two inches of door frame is, is revealed And in fact, if I measure from here to there, I have the two inches, but then I have another uh, gap. A five eighths of an inch. Finally, uh, from there to the next line, where I expect will be exactly 36 inches, representing the door leaf and elevation is 2, 11, and 5 sixteenths. Uh, let's measure again. What's left in there? There's an eighth of an inch, then there's an eighth of an inch, then there is to the next door leaf, two eleven and five sixteenths. Repeat again, five eighths of an inch. Um, so we have all this outstanding geometry, uh, and then the door frame, of course, is occluded uh, by the representation of what this, uh, the, um, the column. So this column, this column is occluding a view of the rest of the door frame there. What I need to do therefore is come up with a strategy of how I'm going to model this and stick with it. Um, if I go around to the rest of the model and look at the openings, I'm getting six feet at the two gang windows on that side. So Presumably, that six feet represent two three-foot modules together. Um, there is the door uh, three four I imagine represents two inch door frame flanking uh, a 36 inch leaf door repeat the dimension to get this window bay and it looks like I've got similar 12 feet on this side this is quite obviously a six-foot window. 
and then on the east and west sides I have a three foot window Keep that dimension and three four which represents a 36 inch door leaf flanked by a two two inch window frame so one way or another I have to make decisions about how I'm going to draw those representations in SketchUp. So let's look at the SketchUp model and explain what it is that we're looking at here. Um, I've created a set of openings um, that is essentially the outline of those openings as we ascertain them from the AutoCAD drawing. So I'm using largely the plan that measures um, wherever a, one of these windows occurs three feet. So where there are two windows, I have six feet. I'm going to go ahead and sort of attach dimensions to these elements that I've created here. There's my 12 feet for the window. There is my 6-4 for my door opening. Um, three feet for the window. Three foot four inches for the door. All right. So in the case of the window, the three feet has to include the door, the uh, window frame. In the case of the door, it does not. It's a leaf within uh, a 36 inch leaf within uh, an opening that's uh, 30, 38 inches wide, right? 36. Um, sorry, 40 inches wide. So it's 36 plus two inches on either side is uh, 40 inches. Um, so, here's what I have so far. Um, all of these elements that go to entity info are modeled as components and holding the control key I'm just selecting all the components that are modeled and I'm going to move them to my openings uh, layer so that I can control the visib visibility separately In the next lesson, we'll talk about how we're going to take those openings and actually compose their constituent doors and windows, including the frames, and, and what sort of uh, abstractions we have to um, create in order to model those things.